Warning, has anyone seen my groceries? I wish there was a peach. If there was a peach sitting on the top of that bag, I would have been loving it. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC Not TV podcast for Once Upon a Time, Season 5, Episode 19, Sisters. I'm your host, Dom. With me is Nikki and Rachel. Hi. How's it going? Hello. It's going. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, what'd you guys think of this episode? There's still all the feels at ya. I mean, as much as I hate Zelina, I liked seeing this episode. Mm -hmm. I liked seeing her in this episode, uh, her, the way her character reacted. I mean, I expected her to blow Korra up into bits, but she didn't. Even though she probably really, really wanted to at first. Mm. But her want to having a mother basically kind of fill that spot outweighed that yeah i mean it, it was cool we got to see a bunch of flashbacks with uh you know uh cora regina and zelina and mm -hmm. uh, it was really unexpected oh yeah definitely apparently a strand of the river of forgetfulness flowed near their backyard somewhere yeah so coincidence uh, yeah hmm Hmm. Pain. Huh? That's a pain because it's just you know, you think Regina would have known that a long time ago, or was it well, brought her, up? No, her mom probably didn't. No. Well, I mean, she lived there at that castle in that house for hey, a very long. Hey, if there's time, a river that if you drink the water out of it, you forget what's going on. You're not gonna remember drinking the water, and you're not gonna remember. It's very easy to not know what's going on with that river. She probably knew the river was there, but probably didn't know it had any magical properties. Hmm. It was just a stream, wasn't it? Stream, yeah. yeah whatever. Yeah. But still. Who goes drinking out of streams? Besides bears. And squirrels. I, have and you bunnies ever been and I taught high mountain camping before? No. But if I did, I would have a canteen and I would boil the water. Even if it's running water, yes, I know. So you do that, but you I do mean, that. You boil the magic out of it. That's that's how that works. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's one hundred percent how it works. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. No. But uh, it was it's kind of cool, and uh, you know, we had the whole flashback with uh, Cora's wand and like. Mm -hmm blood magic sealing the box and Zelina opening it and them realizing they're sisters and... Well, they realized they're related. Yeah. They didn't know they're sisters till they asked Cora. Yeah, and then Cora, like, ripped them away right in front of each other and... Is it wrong the whole entire time I've seen the season? I mean, these girls are... I'm, I was thinking in my head, these girls are old enough to know how to put on lipstick. <laughs> yeah. I... I don't know why that just bugged me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, ah, um. I was reading an article somewhere where they were like, no, we didn't dress up as princesses, we dressed up as whores. <laughs> the makeup was really bad, intentionally, you know, because little yeah, kids are doing yeah, it, yeah, but, kids. yeah. But, you know, at that age, you know when to hop, but, you know, it just, it, it was cute, but at the same time, I'm like. Really well, heavy on the eyeshadow. Yeah, I think it was because they're, it was so bright. It was like the thing you focused on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... If you had little kids playing with makeup and let them completely be in charge of doing it, it probably wouldn't look too far off from that. If they've never, I don't know. If they've never used makeup before. I, I was pretty good at putting on makeup when I was a kiddo. Yeah, that you can remember now, but remember back to the first time you did it, and I'm pretty sure it didn't look too good. When was the last time you put makeup on, though? Um... Yesterday. Halloween. No, I don't fucking know. Yeah, Halloween. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't do too bad of a job. And that was my first time ever putting it on, so that was kind of cool. But, um, yeah. But Regina, like, she spent a whole lot of last week trying to prevent, you know, Zelina Hades from going on. And this time she's like, hey, let's get mommy involved. You know? We spied on her with the mirror this episode. And 
it was just like, okay. Zelina's like, really? You, you, you can't let me just, like, make my own choices? You don't believe in me? Mm-hmm. And I don't think Regina did. Mm-mm. No, I mean, a lot of Zelina's choices are still, like, up in the air. Like, yeah, okay, Regina trusts her now, mm-hmm. but I'm, I would still be suspicious oh, because yeah. of all the things she's done in the past. I mean, she, a person can't change pretty like it's basically overnight right now yes it's not gonna happen she's right. gonna have temptations with hades and it's going to cause more you know rifts between her and regina even well, though well she, there's sister actually, bonding now she yeah and see in her own way zelena actually loves hades and you can tell she does yeah because because she's pulling a bell she's being stupid but she thinks because she thinks she can change him She's pulling She's a bell. Stupid. This is why. So, so we got Belle in a sleeping curse, and her and Rumpel are not doing. She's not doing that dance anymore. So they had to go and put a new dance in. You, the same dance, different players. You guys <laughs> act like this is something new in in the world of women in love. And and how many times do you hear? Oh, well, she's going for the asshole because she thinks she could change him. Like the, of course. This, it's just how it goes. We need projects sometimes. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what it is. Projects. <laughs> we get bored. And we just- Zelina's <laughs> really bored, so do you blame her? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, it was kind of cool. And we see Cora um, when Regina's like, oh, we got to get Cora involved. And they go um, grab her. She's playing Miller's daughter again. Uh, and then Hook comes and, and saves the day. I about choked on the drink that I was drinking on when uh, she referred to him as his fairy god, as her fairy godmother, and his response of "Well, I've never been called that before." Literally <laughs> choked on the drink I was drinking. I, it almost came yeah, out my great. my mouth. Yeah. It's been a while since we got hook sass like that. Uh huh. But you know, it, it's like season two all over again with with Hook and Cora running around. No. <laughs> What do you mean, no? We, Cora and Hook had, like, a ten second, you know, thing. That's it. it was they like, were the whole masterminds behind everything. You remember very the very beginning, it, no, uh, I mean, Hook for, was there, and, you know, he yes. was in the, um, the village that but burnt down. And what he I'm was, saying, this time, this time, they, oh, well, yeah, like, this time. they talked, like, for maybe a minute, and then that was it. Hook and Cora had no more interaction. So I'm, I'm not... Yes, he came to her rescue, but not because he wanted to, not because he was working with her, because... They needed her. Uh, not because Emma or Regina or somebody sent... It was Regina sent Hook to her. Yeah. It's not really the same as season two. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, so. it, it was reminiscent of. Teensy, teensy. I instantly thought thing, of it. The only thing that re- like that reminds me of season two is that Hook and Cora were in the same seat together. That's the only thing. <laughs> I didn't. It didn't remind me of it. So yeah. I don't know. I was like, oh, the capers can begin again, and then she has to go and redeem herself somehow. Disappear. Well, I- yeah, she had a lot of time to think about shit down there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. Uh, Lee's in, in chat going, Cora's redeemed how? Well, she heard the reason for her being stuck there in the first place is she had unfinished business. Her unfinished business was keeping her daughters apart. Yep. And all the bad really, all the bad things that she did, she did without her heart. So as soon as she got her heart back in, in her, well, theoretically her heart got squished. But it broke that spell. Yeah, you know, so it's kind of like almost like two different people. We know when you don't have your heart in you, you 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 don't have feelings. You don't have the same feelings. You're very cold. You're very matter of fact, and Distant. your actions, you just don't care. Yeah, you're just just like I'm gonna do what I, I want to do, and I don't care. So I, I was just really, really hoping that when she walked off that bridge, that she just fell. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I, I, for that. A, she was. She it, thought she was. She was. She was. I'm prepared pretty for sure that. most of chat is wishing that happened too right now. <laughs> but Chat's I going nuts whole, over here. The whole fact that 
she was forgiven by Regina and Zelina, and Zelina. who Z Zelina got what barely any time with her. And this is after her mom tried to give her a forgetful potion. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Well, it's like, I don't know. It, it, I guess the best way to describe it is if um, you, you know anybody that's ever had amnesia, right? Anybody who have, has ever had amnesia, they're going around looking at people like they're complete strangers, like they don't know who they are, you know, and they're, they're, they're living their life. When their memory comes back, they don't just like automatically lose the memory of them having amnesia and not remembering everybody. They still remember that. So it's like all of a sudden when they snap out of it, everything comes rushing back. And now they have like the memory of not knowing the person conflicted in their head and then the memory of knowing them. So that's like with Zelina and Regina, like not having this memory of their childhood and everything, how like they still have that memory. But now they're like, we had this whole sisterly bond and like we were, we loved each other and like we didn't want to be torn apart. And like that's really strong emotional thing that happened at a peak point in their childhood. So for them, that's going to be a bond that holds them together now. I, it's going to be really hard to separate the two of them. And, and I think Regina actually trusts Selena this time around. And that was that was another thing. That's really hard for Cora to give them that memory, knowing that she's the one that took it away from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. was a really hard thing for her to do, I think, to swallow her pride. But she's been down there long enough to realize what she's done. I mean, she got her heart back, so now she's feeling all the ramifications of what she did and how she hurt the people that she supposedly cared about and how, you know, this climbing, you know, getting better status in life wasn't as important as she thought it was going to be. Right. And uh, Daniela Del Castello Locatelli says in chat, uh, I will miss Selena as a villain. She was awesome and she had style. Uh, but it, it's still it's still really hard to, to like Selena because she feels weird now that she mm -hmm. likes her. And... <laughs> This is kind of that moment. I don't think she's going to go 100%. She's right. just like Regina isn't. There's certain things that sometimes Regina does that isn't completely 100% on the up and up, you know? And I mean, <laughs> think Maleficent at, at this mm -hmm. point. That's the, the level of villainy. She has her good points and her bad points, but what's leveling her out right now is the family and the, the, right. the set of reality with her child. That's the only thing making her good. Mm -hmm. If that wasn't part of it, she'd be doing the same bullshit over and over again. Right, and this is exactly what I was talking about back when, I'm thinking the Camelot uh, season, half season, um, when I was like, Zelina's going to get her redemption story, and she's, and everybody was like, oh my god, no, no way, blah, blah, she's villain, well, uh, and I was, because exactly I was just seeing the way that they were, they were progressing, like, with her child and everything, and I was like, this is... Like, they're showing these parallels, and it's like, this is what happened with Regina. It's going to happen with Zelina. Obviously, I didn't know all the details of it, but I knew it was going in that direction. So I'm glad to finally see it come to be, and the fact that you guys are all in somewhat of agreement that uh, Zelina's in a position now where she can be redeemed. She's, it's made her softer, but I don't think she's going to make the right decisions I disagree. In the long run. I think she's going to make decisions that are better than the ones she's made in the past, but she's still not going to be following the path that we think she should as far as redemption goes. It's going to be like, yeah, it's going to be like, oh yeah, I like her because she's doing better than she was before, but she's still not quite on that path where she's good. Who ever would have thought that uh, Korra would have seen redemption? So, I... I had a feeling she would, just because, you know, she got her heart back before she died. And, you know, telling Regina she would have been good enough. She would have been enough. Just her by herself and stuff. Because it showed that, it showed that Cora wasn't always, I mean, even in the past, she wasn't always this complete heartless bitch. She only became that when she took her heart out. And well, when she got her heart broken, basically, she took it out. She never wanted to feel that again. So, and 
since she never felt anymore, she didn't care how she made other people feel. Other people feel. Yeah. So you know, it's kind of one of those things she regrets what she did once she gets the feelings back. Yeah, I, see, I think the the thing's gonna happen is because um, uh, when Zelina and Hades were having their their little teddy bear picnic at the beginning of the episode, um, the Hades revealed that he threw all of their names on a tombstone, so they mm-hmm. can't leave. Mm-hmm. Right, N- none of the rest of the heroes can leave. So if Hades, Hades says if he is broken of the curse and he leaves, they're still stuck down there. Yeah, they're still stuck there. So I think if Zelina does kiss him or whatever, it's not going to be that she did it maliciously. It's going to be an act of love, and then it's going to be well, like, she, she oops, how do we it. fix this kind of thing, you know? She does care about him. Right. But, then, but once that happens, I don't think Hades can fix it. He's going to be like, I can't do anything. Right, but I don't think, like, Zelina's going to be, like, in a position where she's like, <laughs> they're all trapped mm-hmm. down here now no. but that, that was something she would have done last episode you know yeah but i can see if that does happen i can see them this is being a way to bring in haiti and that he's bring in zeus yeah his brother yeah i can see that thing i mean somebody's got to be pointed in charge of underworld without hades there mm-hmm. so i think that um Hades, like, I know Cleo, Cleo's not here right now, Chrissy, and she's like, Hades, you know, he's playing her, and I think it's gonna go down the path, yes, he's playing her, and by kissing him, yes, it frees him, but it also passes the curse onto her, so Zelina becomes the ruler of the underworld. Yeah. That'd be interesting. That's an interesting theory. I like that. That would be interesting. Because then Zelina could just be like, yeah, you can all leave. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but then you know if if Hades does get free, then maybe he could cast a time travel thing and go back and kill Zeus and all that shit, and then none of this will have ever happened to begin with. I don't so. even know if he's if that if he does if he does get free. I don't even think he's worried about that anymore. Hmm. I don't know, but seems like that's been his plans all been, along. They wouldn't well, have brought it up if he he didn't have that intention still. Well, I mean, he won doesn't be free. He brought up like when he brought it up, he, it was like, or I could do this thing. You know, if if I get the, the the kiss, doesn't it make him mortal? It restarts his heart. It, it he he's alive. Mm-hmm. Okay, he restarts his heart. So I, I don't know. Does it work the same as? When someone takes their heart out, you know the whole feeling thing, just restarting his heart, basically melting. That's his something heart they could do. They can they can make him mortal and then rip his heart out and control him. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. That's something I could see uh, <laughs> Regina doing. Uh, it's not out of the realm of possibilities it's not with out her. Of the realm of possibilities, no, not at all. And uh, Danielle's asking, uh, do you guys think Zelina's love is enough to change Hades? Um, yeah. I think. I think it is. I think. Uh, he might be playing her, but I think as they go, the further they go on, the further he plays this role, the more he's going to fall into that. You know what I mean? The more he's going to actually become what he was pretending to be to her. Because mm. I'm not sure how... Do we know how True Love's Kiss works in regards of the person kissing if they truly love the person, even if the person... It has to, has to, has to be it's, equal. It's, it's a two-way it's a two-way street. Way street. Yeah, that's what they said when um, when Wait. Bill went under. Because, you know, they said that even if Rumpel yeah, kisses that... her, he loves her, but she doesn't love him. So it's not going to work. They, they used the two parallels of Belle and Rumpel and Ruby and Dorothy last episode. That it has mm-hmm. to be a two-way street. Because Ruby and Dorothy loved each other, truly, both back and forth, whatever. For It worked, but then they switched over to Belle and Rumpel and Belle's like I don't love you so go get my daddy mm. yeah okay I thought it was more that Rumpel wasn't in the position because he was mm. loving his power or whatever street. but yeah okay Yeah. So. well now that they're seeing eye to eye we had another sibling rivalry this episode and that was James and David finally <laughs> that freaking time I was expecting far more out of James. I wanted to see actually way more of James. I wanted to see this go on for a couple episodes. Not 
even not even a couple just maybe one more episode because we expected to see a lot of him causing bullshit because he is the sheriff of the town but we barely saw any of him which to be honest we should have saw way more of him i'm just wondering that if hades does leave underworld maybe they'll or maybe they'll find a way to retrieve those holes from the lost they have the to they, they're dumping like all their their the, I, mean, I don't want to say they're main characters, they're but they're they're good, like interesting characters. Yeah, Melina, Hercules. Did Hercules go in there? No. No. Um. Hercules and uh, what's if Meg? Yeah, they left. they went. Um, who was the other one? Gaston. Gaston went in there. And and, and then Auntie James M. Went in there. And Auntie M. Um. I, yeah. Yeah. Melina, Rumpel's wife. Yeah. Yeah. Melina. So, is that Mila? Her name? Mila. Mila. Whatever. I'm thinking of the girl from Mortal Kombat with the teeth and the, the purple. <laughs> I'm like, Melina? Who the hell is Melina? Um, yeah, so, I mean, it would be kind of cool to see them able to pull those spirits out and actually have them move on. Move on. Mulan? Mulan. No. No. We're not seeing Mulan until next season. <laughs> Please Probably. don't say that. We're not. That's really upsetting if that's true. I think we have three so 20, weeks left. Twenty two, so this is nineteen, so twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Yeah. I think it ends That's on two weeks. Twenty three. Because twenty one and twenty two are a double episode, aren't they? I thought it ended on twenty three with twenty two uh, and twenty three. Either way, we don't have episode. many episodes left, and I no. don't see them bringing in Mulan in. No. It was next season. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we got to see her twice this whole season we got to see yeah. her um that's in not exciting the camelot and then we got to see her in this yeah half 22 and 23 are the double so we have three more weeks okay okay three more weeks so uh yeah i don't know the, the james thing i was expecting a lot more out of it and then just going into the river of souls at the end it's just like they like it's there's gotta be a way to get me. them out they got they gotta at this point, they have to. I mean, to. I, it really seems like it's a I wanted them to, but I could have done without the whole Cruella and James. That just like, ugh. And that's the reason why they threw oh. that at us, because they want to see us gag a little. Because usually Dude. we're all like, we're either you on the edge of, our sheet, uh, of, edge of our seats, or we're crying, or we're like super excited. But then it's like that one scene, they just have to throw us off a little bit. It's like, ugh. ugh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mo Omer and Chez is saying, uh, when do you think everyone will find out what Rumple did to Mila? Uh, I want it to happen soon. I want to bring back the rivalry between Rumpel and Hook. Oh, I don't think that'll ever think, go away. I don't think it will. I have a feeling Hades will blurt it out when oh, yeah. Rumpel's trying to help kind of thing. Well, I think Hades is just gonna going to be like, oh, guess what? It's going to come out soon because Zelina got kidnapped. Can I just let Hades you all know kind of how much I, I, like, stared with my mouth open and then jumped out of my chair and applauded the, the TV? <laughs> like, as soon as Peter Pan, I just went... Uh, and then it ended with him just, like, throwing the bag overhead, and I went... How was I thinking? <laughs> I, well, when she stopped outside the diner, I'm like, why is she standing there so so long? Go in. Why? What? Why? Just walk in. I know, I mean, right? She was, like, she was having doing? a moment. She was watching him dance. Dancing. It's like... It was hysterical. It's, it's like girls good. in horror movies running in high heels, not even taking them off. It, it doesn't make any sense. I guess. So, <laughs> a chat, I'm going to ask you guys, what, what was your reaction to, to Peter Pan at the end? Were you, were you guys happy? So, I'll read those off in a minute. What, Rachel, what were you thinking when you, when you saw Pan? I had a feeling he would show up. When Rumpel's like, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do this my way. I knew he was going to make that deal with his dad. I might as well have been a deal with the devil. Mm hmm Because, yeah. And I had a feeling he was going to be back since, you know, the actor's other gig is off the air right now. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was just a matter of when this was filmed and when that was filmed. You know? Mm -hmm. They're not too far. I don't think... They just wrapped up mm. not too long ago, so it's not like a whole like you know month or something. Yeah. 
I don't know. Uh, Nikki, what was your reaction to Pan? <laughs> She's like, no, not again. <laughs> Pan never I, fails. He, he's gonna fucking fail. No, he's he is, not. Yes, because if he doesn't fail, that means he gets into the overworld, back into Storybrooke, and that's not gonna goddamn will happen. Something's gonna happen, and he's gonna have he's, something's gonna trigger trigger his crossover. And he's gonna have to leave. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna pass on. He's gonna move forward, and Rumple's gonna be sitting there with his thumb up his ass, going, "Uh oh, I fucked up." Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sally wants to know what what could Peter Pan do to Zelina? Uh, she, he could trade, like make her stay in the underworld and you know because she didn't die or anything she's alive and, in the underworld and her name isn't switch. on one of the and her name isn't on any of the yeah because hades wasn't going to do that he could throw her in the river of lost souls he could do why, a lot why would you do that when why would you is. no i'm why, not saying you is. would she why he, get out. peter she pan get out. Yeah. oh that, that's she true is her ticket out there's no way he's going to that's yeah. true huh. that's what i've been like, yeah. And if he does that, I guess, if he does that, I mean, we we know that Hades wouldn't put her her name on the stone like Rachel's saying. So she really is the ticket right now. And if that happens, she's the Hades is going to be pissed. Oh yeah. Uh, he's he's as soon as he finds out Selena, because she blew him off. He's gonna go looking for her. He's gonna find her, or not find her, and then he's gonna figure out that she was taken. He's going to be pissed anyways. Hmm. Do you think he's going to take it out of Rumple? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Did he put Rumple's name on there? That's a good question. I, I mean, why not? Rumpel he said all the heroes. Him. He put all the storybook heroes. I don't know if we could classify Rumple as a hero. Well, he thinks he has Rumple under his thumb, so right. there, there'd be no reason for him to actually do to put his name on it. Right. I would put Same his name stuff. on anyways. I would have put his name on the moment oh, I know, he got I there. Would've, I would have too, but you know. 80s. You need to take 80s. some notes. Listen to us. You know how this goes. Danielle is worried for Zelina. Uh, she hopes they save her, which that's that's big coming from Danielle because uh, she was not a Zelina supporter at all. No, but it's I'm funny how not. one episode could turn turn your opinions around on a character. I mean, it's I not granted. Think, it's not it's one not, episode because we've kind of seen a little bit of this slowly building to this point. But this was the pinnacle episode, I should say. Yeah, it's it's like Regina. It's not, it's not who can save her because she can only save herself. Hmm. It's whether or not she wants to be saved or not. If she wants to turn and, her life around, if she wants to, you know. And that's it's, exactly what we we've seen not happen with Rumpel because hmm. you know his saving would be to turn to the good side kind of thing but he doesn't want to he wants to do things he wants to do it his way he wants to use his power and he's just, a two year old he's selfish mm -hmm. and you know Zelina wants to change because she has the prospect of family after I mean oh. after those memories realizing yeah. that her and she probably not only did they probably get those memories they probably got the feelings they had with them flowing back so I yeah. mean, Rumpel has a family, and you know, he has still, Henry. He <laughs> Rumpel has a family, he's still and he's still being an ass. ass. An it, ass. It's he's... always it's funny to think that Rumpel Stiltskin is Henry's grandfather, mm -hmm. right? He's, is it his, his grandfather? Great, yeah, yes, his, his grandfather. grandfather. Or is it his great? Peter Pan is his yeah. great grandpa. Yes. Okay. Neil is Rumpel's son, and yeah, Henry is Neil's son. Yeah. So. Right. Grandpa. 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 Yeah. Yeah, and the charming is his other grandfather. A, and then he's having a, and then Bill's having an uncle. God, the family lineage yeah. in this thing. They yeah. joked about it in one episode, but I really would love to see Thanksgiving in the Enchanted Forest. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really would love to see that. Uh, right? Yeah. It's insane. I mean, I mean, well, I guess it wouldn't be too insane because um, Henry has an uncle, baby uncle, baby Neil. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's going to have two. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, 
Huh. Mo saying, uh, I hope they don't redeem. They don't. I hope they don't redeem Pan as he's an amazing villain. I 100% agree. Yeah, I have a villain. There. I I just think it'd be hilarious if they tricked him into doing something that redeemed him, and he ended up going. He's like, no, I don't want to go there. <laughs> and then you know he's saying no, but he's getting sucked in. Sucked it's like in, the yeah. light is wrapping around him instead of the what if his, flames coming his, up and wrapping him his heaven down. his down to Olympus is Neverland and he's freaking out or maybe that's his hell maybe he goes to hell and it's Neverland and, he... and his, 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 his last words before he gets sucked away is Pan never fails oh, too bad you're already failing dude you're he'll right. find a way out yeah, I just I think, think that would be hilarious <laughs> if he ends up going like if that's like his hell I think there's a way that we'd be able to see Neverland again because the reason why Neverland stopped existing is because Pan wasn't there to keep it existing anymore. But is it? Well, no, is it was Henry. Is it his imagination? Is it just like your? It was Henry. It's because it was the 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 wish or whatever that created yeah. Neverland in the first place had that hourglass. The magic was running out, and he needed Henry to keep it there infinitely. And when Henry, they wouldn't sacrifice Henry's heart to do that because they needed the heart yeah, of the I'm truest believer. When That's when it imploded. When they, no, I when they know. cross over, is it their their memory of what their place, their heaven looks like, their hell? Could be. Neverland was created because of Pan. Right. Yeah, so if that's his hell, then it wouldn't be recreated. It's just his, it'd be in his mind. Maybe they might twist something and then Neverland is back. Yeah, and they then could. totally, they could totally do that. But I just think that'd be just the most hilarious. Thing I would love if there is a portal in the Mad Hatter's hat that goes to Neverland. If somebody tried to go into it now, if it would just suck them into a void, that'd be amazing. I don't know. I just think that'd be the funniest thing ever. His hell is Neverland, and he gets sucked back into. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I do so. Oh, Danielle wants to know if you think next yeah. episode will confirm Emma and Hook as true love. It's possible. Uh, next week, uh, the episode is called Firebird. Um, Hades turns to the heroes to ask for help with getting Zelina back from Rumpelstiltskin and Peter Pan. In return, he offers to take all of their names off of their tombstones. However, when Hook is still unable to leave, he and Emma must journey into the depths of the underworld. Meanwhile, Cruella de Vil is determined to keep the heroes trapped in the underworld. And in flashbacks, Emma searches for answers about her family and makes an unexpected friendship. Uh, I had another little thought. If, Peter, if Pan's hell, maybe he gets turned back to his old self. Did you see him just morph into his old self and be like, Oh no! And he gets sucked back to Neverland as his old self. No, with with them bringing in the idea of Pan coming back, like if they do not do that, I'm going to be very unhappy. That would be hilarious. I would laugh. I would laugh so hard. Yeah. I would, yeah. So it looks like uh, we're gonna get a lot of Pan next episode, and I really hope Pan, that is the case. It looks like more Girl. Emma than I want to see. Emma flashback. Uh, I'm curious. Who do you guys think uh, the unexpected friendship is? It's got to be somebody relevant. Yeah. I don't even know who she would have. Oh, the the word firebird typically references a phoenix. Phoenix, yeah. You know, or it could literally just be a firebird car. <laughs> car? Well, it's the 80s, I guess. Yeah. It happened. So, I'm actually going to lean more toward the car. Because we're we're thinking Phoenix, and they want us to think Phoenix, so I'm gonna lead more toward the car. I mean, there was, on the promo, there was a lot of fire, so I mean, it could just be a sign of revival too. I mean, it doesn't too. It has to be a, an exact symbolization or representation of a firebird. It could just be the revival of something, or you know, the revival of Hook's life or something. I don't know. Yeah. No. Maybe, uh, maybe it's Jean Grey. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's been really big crossovers. A any anything else for this episode? 
I want to see them suck them back and freaking out. I just want to see <laughs> I, I have it pictured in my head already, and it's hilarious. Lee saying, remember what Neil said in episode 12, uh, it won't end the way you think, Emma, uh, and friendship is her past mentor. So, she's had a lot of it mentors. It never ends the way anyone thinks, so it's kind of like the story that's the running See. Running. I'm looking at chat, and they're like, yeah, Operation Fiber. Yes, that could be part of it, but it doesn't mean that that's the exact meaning for This whole meaning for thing, it. this whole season is is basically been Operation Firebird. Operation Firebird is to bring people back from the underworld. They're not going to resolve like Operation Fireworld and get everybody redeemed and back home in this episode. No, so no, no. I'm trying to think of what other references that this exactly. would make, because it's... It's clearly not going to be over until uh, episode 22 and 23 at the finale, so we'll find out then. Mm-hmm. Until next week, uh, Nikki, where can the people find you? Um, on Twitter, at LadyVenom24, L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M-24. Excellent. Rachel, where can the people find you? Well, can find me on Twitter, at Savannah17. Okay. You can find me down below at Phenomenon. P H E N O M E D O M. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Without Cleo, it just doesn't work. <laughs> you can find us all on Facebook, Gmail, G, Twitter, <laughs> Space, and right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, movies, and games. Uh, until next week, rev up your firebirds. Zoom zoom. That's that's the <laughs> Don't wrong. Don't forget to blast journey. <laughs> Don't yeah. stop believing, guys. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Hold on to that True feeling. Believer. Yeah. <laughs> that was a I bet you that's on Henry's playlist too. Are you speed digging? <laughs>